everybody, it is Avery, and today it's not gonna be a funny video. It's not gonna be weird. It's gonna be a kind of normal video. And basically, I have gotten a few questions about kind of what I use to film my videos, my setup for my videos, what I use to edit my videos. I just thought I'm gonna put in all one video. Camera equipment, editing my videos, filming setup. In no way am I trying to brag in any way about, all, uh, about the camera equipment I have. I'm really blessed to be able to have this stuff. Don't you guys just like love this necklace? I'm like obsessed with it. Like it's one of those like long necklaces. I don't know. At the end it has like a little point. I know it's not gonna be a very fun video, but honestly, I'm kind of out of videos, <laughs> ideas, and I need that. Comment down below what you guys would like to see me do. So we're just going to start with my every video filming camera. I have the Canon Rebel T3i. It's great for filming. It has a viewfinder, which is right there. It's great. It has bunches, a bunch of settings, just like any other Canon camera. It allows to take really great pictures. It allows you to adjust whatever you need to do. Um, and it allows you to have really great videos. You can change your frames per second. It's a very versatile camera. Uh, a lot of people assume that the camera is actually what, what makes your videos clear and what allows that blurry background and the focus and all the autofocus. Actually, it's the lens. Investing in a good lens is a great thing to do. I am obsessed with lenses. I love getting new lenses. It's like something that I love. I'm, I'm very interested in my cameras and equipment. So I definitely do my research before purchasing purchasing the lens that I like. When I first started YouTube, I don't, when my brother had a YouTube channel too, when he had his, we started out with the lens that actually comes with the camera, which I don't actually remember what it was called. It was a good lens, um, basically allowed for great focus. It definitely did not have the blurry background or allowing, or it didn't allow autofocus. It was all manual focusing. I mean, it was a great lens for wide angles. I did not get that camera back. So I got a new camera, which is whenever I started looking into all the lenses. It is up to you on if you want a landscape lens. It depends on if you would like autofocus, manual focus. But that's what I really looked into. I really loved the autofocus and how it would focus on the uh, on the person's face and blur the background. That is what I was interested in. A lot of people like the more widescreen lenses, which are also awesome too, but I just wasn't interested in that. YouTubers videos, I found the lens that a lot of them use, and it is the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter lens. That is actually the lens that I purchased. It is on the camera right now. This is the boss. I got, um, I purchased most of this stuff off Amazon and I think some of it was bought in, at Best Buy but I'm not completely I'm not, whoops, I'm not completely sure. The lens I use for basically all my videos is the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter lens. It has great autofocus. It has great manual focus. The, it allows for the focus points in your videos and it allows you to blur the background of your videos, which I really enjoy. I absolutely love this lens. It's my favorite lens out of all the lenses I do have. It's just so great for a video and it allows uh, for such a clear picture. It's really insane. You can focus on the tiniest thing and it'll focus on that and I just absolutely love it. I can focus on myself and with just the little scrolling things, the little um, adjustments at the top of the lens, it allows me to zoom out. It has a pretty great zoom. Not too far, but I mean it does allow for a pretty good zoom. This is the manual focus. It's very easy to focus um, by yourself. Since it is such a big lens, it's very easy to adjust by yourself. I do have a shader on the top of my lens too. Moving on to the next lens that I use. It was the lens that I bought, the Sigma lens. This is the Canon 50mm lens. You could basically say this is a smaller version of this lens that I have right now. It's cheaper. It's the cheapest Canon lens there is. The only thing, this is a very close up. Is it, it is a very zoomed in lens. There is no zooming or anything like that. It basically stays zoomed in the whole time. Uh, you cannot adjust it. It is not wide scale. It's not widescreen at all or landscape. It is none of that. It's for very close up shots, which is what I, as for making videos, I found that it was really hard to film the videos and focus on myself just because it is so small. I would not recommend this for filming videos like I do. For close-up shots, it's amazing. It has wonderful focus, autofocus and manual focus to scroll your focus. The lens, I, the Sigma lens is definitely a step up from this one and I would recommend the Sigma lens over this just because this is not great for filming videos. Really just great for close-up shots. Moving on to the next lens. It, this lens is a zoom lens. This is the Canon zoom lens, 75 to 300 millimeter lens. It has insane zoom. It's it's really awesome. I love this lens so much. I have not actually really gotten to use it for anything for a video, 
but for traveling and for taking pictures um, of faraway things and just basically it would be great for travel vlogs when you're just going around and oh, or you see something and you want to zoom in on it. It's insane. It's zoom is amazing. As you can see, that's just crazy. As far as tripods, I use... Okay, honestly, I would not recommend this tripod. I do not think it's a great tripod at all. But it does the job. It keeps my camera on the tripod. I mean, it works. Especially with the Sigma lens, I do notice that this it kind of tilts whenever I put it on the tripod, which is not good at all. Just because the Sigma lens is so heavy that it tends to tilt. Uh, it has a pretty good height. I mean, it's not incredible. It is the Sunpat 5858D or 5858D. Honestly, it ain't that great. Just saying. As far as lighting, I use a ring light. Basically, the ring light I got off Amazon. Unfortunately, I didn't take take out uh, the box. I didn't keep the box, so do not know the company where it's from. I just know it's a ring light. I do have a tripod for it, but the tripod for it broke. So currently, I just set it up on my like the stand against my TV. On my, it's a mounted TV, so it like kind of pushes against it and it honestly works fine I wish it could be closer up but it just doesn't work that way and I just cannot find a tripod so if you guys know where I can purchase a tripod for my ring light that would be really awesome if you could just leave it in the comment down, comments down below as far as editing my videos I use a MacBook Pro iMovie if I'm using it to record a game or if I'm using it to record something on on the laptop screen itself I use ScreenFlow I do use Keynote sometimes to create some keynotes just to add into the video and add more to the videos this is for vlogging and for traveling and I know you guys have all seen it it's the Canon G7X um, most of the youtubers have it it's a great camera for vlogging I mean it's the ideal camera for vlogging it has the flip up screen and basically it's just a really great it's just really great for vlogging uh, if you guys don't know already I am weekly vlogging this summer I start vlogging the week on Mondays and I post it on the next Monday so I have a whole week of just vlog footage and I edit it up other than that I think that's most of my camera equipment I hope this was helpful for you guys if you were looking into purchasing a camera I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below with video with some video suggestions suggestions or anything like that because I'm kind of brain dead right now. Look out for the weekly vlogs. Um, I'll talk to you guys later and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I love you guys very much and have courage and be kind. Bye!